Welcome back to the Lowdown on Physics. This is screencast number 5 in a series for Unit 4 VCE Physics uh, Interactions of Light and Matter. Today we will be looking at the photon. Before we get into looking at photons, I just want to introduce a new unit for measuring energy. Now traditionally we've used the joule and that's the work done by a coulomb of charge moving through a potential of 1 volt and it is a large unit. The electron volt is the amount of energy that one electron would receive if it moves through a potential of 1 volt. So instead of a whole coulomb of charge we're now analyzing for one electron. So we can see compared to the joule it's quite a small value. Now enter Max Planck. In about 1900 he was attempting to explain the spectrum for light emitted from a hot object, uh, what we'd call a black body radiator, radiator. Now he developed a theory that light's not actually continuous like the continuous wave model that we've been looking at but rather discrete packets of energy which he called photons. Now he suggested that the energy of each photon carried is proportional to the frequency of light. So there's still this link to this wave model but he came up with this equation E, that's the energy of the photon, equals H times F where H is the constant called Planck's constant, 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds. That value will be on your data sheet for your exam but you will need to be well aware of it and where to find it and when to use it. Now according to his theory, the energy in a beam of light would be made up of a number of these packets of photons or these little bundles of energy. So the total energy that's going to be carried by the beam would be HF, the energy of the individual photon, times the number of photons. So let's have a look at an example. The light from a 100 watt green light bulb has a wavelength of 500 nanometers. Nano is 10 to the negative 9. Now determine the number of photons released in a minute. So the first thing we need to know is how much energy is going to be released in a given minute. Now watts is the same as joules per second so if we've got 60 seconds then it's 60 times that 100. So once we know the total energy we can work out the frequency based on um, 3 times 10 to the 8 that's V divided by uh, lambda the wavelength so we've got 6 times 10 to the 14 as our uh, frequency and that should be in Hertz. Now that we know that we can use the equation E equals N times HF rearrange that because we know E we know H, we know F, we rearrange that to find N. We've got 6,000 divided by a frequency of 6 times 10 to the 14 times 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34. And that gives us a total number of about 1.5 times 10 to the 22 photons being released in a minute. Now to link this into the um, photoelectric effect, just to give us a little bit of a step into the next screencast, uh, the idea that Planck was working on is that each photon would only be able to interact with one electron. And in doing so, if it is absorbed, all of that energy gets absorbed. So all of the energy gets transferred. It can't just give off part of its energy. This is a majorly important concept in it to explaining the photon or the photo, sorry the photoelectric effect. So lock that one into your memory. And that's it till the next screencast.